Good morning, Glenbrook South. I'm your host, Ian Keelas, and welcome to the Glenbrook South Report, where each month we bring you interesting stories about the events, clubs, and activities here at GBS. Today's stories will be featuring the debate team and Interacts Club. With no in-person tournaments, the debate team has had to be extra creative about working around COVID restrictions, not only for their longtime debaters, but for their incoming freshmen as well. We're off to a really good start. Our varsity team started off last weekend. Typically, we get to fly all over the country to compete. Um, for example, they were supposed to be in Texas and California last weekend, but instead they had to stay home remote and they're all through Zoom. And so it's definitely been an adjustment. Our um, novice debaters and our JV debaters are starting this weekend at our school hosted opener. Every year, um, we always had hosted like Tuesday after school practices for them. And this year we have shifted to doing um, kind of smaller groups doing them every day and it's been a really good opportunity because the kids can actually come into school uh, which has been super great uh, so they can have kind of face-to-face -face experience it's a lot at first and typically it takes us about a semester to like get the hang of everything and that's obviously changed a lot because they don't have as much in-person interaction and debates a very verbal activity but I think that our director as well as all of the our varsity mentors the help uh, the the freshman after school practices have done a really good job. We also judge um, on the weekends at the tournament. So uh, for example, this freshman opener that's on Saturday is against like Lumberk North, um, a lot of the city schools and just a lot of the uh, big high schools around here that all have debate teams. We volunteer uh, to judge and just give feedback. And we're helping like our kids and coaching them, but also giving helpful feedback to the other freshman debaters in the area. I definitely think debate helps me break out of my shell a little bit. Uh, like in middle school, I wasn't the quietest person ever, but I definitely wasn't the loudest uh, or the most confident. And I think that uh, debate has helped me kind of form really strong opinions and be able to discuss these things at like a high level. For our next story, Interact is partnering up with Habitat for Humanity for this year's annual Paintathon event. This year, they're painting a very special house in Wheeling. The point of Interact is basically spreading unity and positivity throughout the community. There's so many areas that need help in this community, so we're basically just trying to spread all of our service and reach out to all the people that need help. It's bringing unity and creating community for people around us. We go to different townships and try volunteering. So basically the goal is to get as many people as possible to come together like once a month for different events and we give back to those who are less privileged. Uh, that's a huge impact. Um, we didn't expect any help like this. I think it was, a, it, it was amazing. I saw my, pa my parents face um, the happiness that they have. For this project especially, um, it's run by Habitat for Humanity and Painathon. So different families that need the service and the help, they kind of apply through those programs and then they get chosen. It was either in this uh, situation from the, from the virus, from the COVID-19. So it was tricky, it was either bills or food. It takes so little of our time. For example, in this project, we literally just come for two Saturdays, but for the homeowners, it's gonna impact them for the rest of their lives because this is the house that they're gonna be living in. I have, I have really huge happiness on my heart that um, sometimes you can't tell. <laughs> That's all our stories this month. Thank you so much for tuning in to GBSR, and we'll see you next time.